we have the Santa Cruz Cousin Band. How are you guys doing today? Good. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Oh, no. Thank you for being here. This is super exciting. So, we're going to hear quite a few songs from you, mm -hmm. but I want to know how did this thing happen? How did, like, hey, guys, let's start a band? Go ahead. Any, 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 who wants to start off? Okay, so... Okay, closer to the mic. Everybody get to the oh. mic. You're going to talk. Okay, so we just, like, all love playing um, instruments, but we, for a long time, we all just took classical lessons, like, individually. Okay. Um, and then uh, we went to see a concert with a family band, like, all together, and we just got, like, inspired one day. We were really done. done with playing alone in our room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it gets boring after a while, so we just, like, came together, and it was so funny, because that day, we thought the band was going to break up. First like, day. First day, <laughs> Because, I mean, when you, like, play by Wait, your... really? You, you thought about the first day you, you got there together, like, oh, no, like, an hour later, this is it. Well, yeah. Working. It's hard to work together. Yeah. It was a really different, different taste. We yeah. all have crazy different tastes in music, so we just decided, okay, we'll stick with it, and then I'm so glad we did, because, yeah. So how long ago was that? Sayla, what do you think? Maybe, like, five or six years ago? Five or, five six, or six years, six years ago. Oh, so you've been doing it for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So where do you... Recruiting new members every year. Right. When they get older. <laughs> when like they get older. Yeah. Wait, was it not Riley? Ryder. Ryder, Ryder, Ryder. 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 yeah. So how old are you, Ryder? Get to the eight. microphone. I'm eight. Eight years old. When did you get in the band? Three? Um, no. what do you think? He's kind of been singing since He's he was He's kind born. of been with us since <laughs> the beginning. I really? Yeah. Yeah. That is crazy. He was like really, actually was about like three years old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is cool. So where do you play? Where do you, you've been a band. Do you like, do you busk on the streets? Do you play in your church? Do you like, yeah. Hey, where, where, yeah. Yeah. So we, um, most actually like almost all of us play at church every yeah. Sunday. My dad's yeah. the worship leader. Okay. And then we'll play downtown. On is that your dad the Yeah, right that's my dad. Okay. Um, on, cause it's cousins and then so, so He got his scores. master's in classical guitar. So, and then taught history of rock and roll. So he's pretty well rounded helpful to have so dad <laughs> vicariously living through your family <laughs> <laughs> yeah we play downtown on pacific avenue a lot in the summer yeah and mm -hmm. then just like at local events fundraisers weddings, like weddings. Mm -hmm. okay i, I want to ask do you actually make money when you're playing downtown pretty decent yeah it's actually split it's 11 ways it's yeah, <laughs> it gets but, less. but if it was one of you though it'd be pretty oh, good yeah total numbers but it's like sometimes. all together that's how <laughs> people are so generous <laughs> actually when we go down there yeah. it's like yeah yeah because you're kids you can't oh, not <laughs> and you sound amazing which really helps so that's good thank you well maybe you need to start like voting off some members so you make more money <laughs> <laughs> no. okay i think we should i love that you guys all said no 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 okay um okay i think we should start off the show by um playing a song what song are we gonna we're gonna do um, Sister Sludge. We are family because we are family. So. Okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> Sister Sludge from the Santa Cruz Cousin Bands on KSQD Santa Cruz. song really say cousins and the, the we original. changed, yeah. <laughs> they changed the lyric lights. about surfing in there yeah. Oh, yeah. i love when you guys do that do you, know, do you guys know the band coffee zombie collective no. yeah they're a local band and they kind of do the same thing where like they make these like cool you know songs we all know but like 
add a little Santa Cruz a little more layer. Yeah. yeah, you should look at Coffee Zombie Collector. They're really fun. They also bust on Santa Cruz and oh, downtown sometimes. Oh, yeah. We've probably seen them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to know what's like the what's the plan? You've been five years. Like, is there like a trajectory of where you want to take your band? Mm, that's a good question. Well, we're always trying to get better individually, okay. then we'll be better together. So just always working, taking any opportunity. But yeah, wherever the local opportunities take us. Do you ever want to like record an album? That would be super fun. That would be so Some fun. Some of us write it a little bit on our own. Oh, really? Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, well, today, will we hear a song written by one of you? Ooh. Maybe. Or these <laughs> Maybe just come back again. We'll come back. Yeah. Ready okay, for we'll come back with that. Okay, yes. we're gonna do that in a, in a few months. <laughs> like that. Okay, let's let's play one more song. Okay, awesome. We're gonna do "Love Someone" by Lucas Graham. Oh, cool. Yeah. Do you want me to sing with you? Myself, you're with me, not someone else. Oh, and I'm scared, yeah, I'm so scared that it's all a dream. Cause you still look perfect as days go by, even the worst ones you make me smile. I'd stop the world if you gave us. Stop my Instagram live here. Okay, and save video. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I can just feel like I can listen to you all day. Um, I want to let's. I want to hear from from you about your indi Like I feel like you're all individuals. You guys don't have this, all the same ideas. I know you guys were almost broke up once <laughs> five years ago. But what are some of like your biggest influences? How about you with a guitar? What's your name? Uh, bass, my name's actually. It's Cooper. Oh, sorry. I, 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 I always have that now. Now. <laughs> They're making fun of me. <laughs> my name's Cooper, and I'm 13. Okay. And what kind of music do you like? If you're like not playing uh, music, what do you like listening to when you like open up, you know, iTunes or something? Um, uh, he composes so, classical piano. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, not classical, but you know, but, I um, I play piano a lot. Um, I'm not usually. Uh, on Spotify or iTunes or anything, but yeah. <laughs> normally just playing piano or bass. Really? Or, like, so you like playing your own? Like, yeah. just, mm -hmm. I want to play. Oh, that is really cool. Do you have a, so you have a piano in your house? Yeah. 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 Got, are you a very family, uh, a music, I mean, obviously you are, like you're, do you like, okay, it's dinner time is over, let's play some music together. Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Um, the Barlets actually, they come over, um, Almost that's like, they, <laughs> Four of us are Barlets, four of us are Brownleys. Yeah. Well, they, brownies. they come over like <laughs> every day. Like, almost every day. Every, yeah, every multiple day times a week. week. Yeah. And we just like jam out after dinner every night. That is really like, cool. Really late, yeah. Uh, so, how does a song, let's see if it's somebody else. Um, Got, how about Ryder? Got, Ryder. What kind, well, first, up to the mic. first, what kind of like music do you like? Uh, like, if you were going to play a song, like, do you have a favorite band or singer? Like Billy Joel or Lucas Graham. Wow. Cool. <laughs> He's going way back. For an eight year old, that is really impressive. Um, so, wh who picks the music? 
Maybe we'll get somebody else. Um, how about like you? <laughs> come on here. The, the person yeah, Eden. Yeah, yeah, come on, Eden. What's with the flute? I I know it's a flute, right? I read no. my song. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Okay. So what? Got, what's who picks the music that you guys like? If you want to pick a song, like how does that happen? Um, Sela. Faith, Emma, it's like thing. whatever song we like come upon that we think we would all like, we just all do it together. A big part of it's the singers, probably. Okay. Yeah. You're Salem? I'm sorry? I'm Faith. 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 So yeah. it seems like, does Faith like call the shots? No, <laughs> but whatever song we all like, kind of the, we yeah. just decided to come together. The vocalist definitely, whatever like we have fun singing to, okay. and then like yeah. everyone else just jams with, like, we comes can, behind us. And does it. We can kind of bring out our own instrument style in the when we're playing instruments. So the singers usually have a little more say in the song, and then the instrumental, instrumentalists can kind of improvise, kind of, yeah. Yeah. bring in their own styles yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So do you feel like you're usually, every song, you kind of have your little version of it? Like you're not really trying to like imitate exactly the song, but you're trying to put yeah. your own little spin on it? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, totally. That, that is sure. cool. Well, let's play another one. What, what yeah. Is next? Well, actually, the next one we're gonna do. Yeah, a good example of that. Good example good of make our own. Oh, we're gonna do um, "If I Got You" by Alicia Keys. Awesome. And it's cool. like our own funk, funky version. Funky version. Really version so. Nice. Um. Yeah. Just a spot. Um, um, some people live just for the fame. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. You're listening to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7 FM. like you play the they're kind of short yeah they're a little short but you really get to the point <laughs> yeah how many songs do you have together like I mean, what's your repertoire uh, <laughs> repertoire we kind of just have like a binder and then like <laughs> if we're gonna go perform somewhere we like take some old ones out and just yeah. practice them before we go yeah. so how like how ready are you at any given moment to play like multiple songs like is there some songs that you like you know so well you don't even have to even think about Oh, yeah, for sure. yeah, for yeah. Sure. But there's some songs like, okay, let's try it. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah for sure. Yeah. Okay, what are one of those songs? Let's do that right now. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to cut. Dad, can you come over here for sure. one of the mics? Mm -hmm. Like, put your your mouth. Here I am. Yeah, cool. So, what's what's your name, Dad? Jordan. Jordan. So, how I want to know. I mean, this is this must be kind of a dream for you to have your family <laughs> doing something like this. Isn't of course. This? Yeah. There's nothing better than making music with your kids and with your <laughs> nieces or nephews. That is super cool. Did you like, at, a, at an early, like, I don't know, when they were eight year, five years ago, you then like, oh, you know what, I wonder if we could get a band together. Was it like, kind of like your, did you kind of massage this or was it the kids? No, it was kind of their thing and then I sort of fell into it a little bit more formally recently, yeah. just playing along with them. But I've kind of just taken more of a background role a lot yeah. of the time. So they do a lot in terms of figuring out their arrangements they want to do. Cool. But some of these kids, you know, I've watched like Curran here, my oldest, as soon as he could reach a keyboard, he was playing consonances and, and things. And um, so a lot of these kids are that way. They're just musical. Wow. So it didn't really surprise me that they kind of found this band opportunity. Yeah. Well, I want to ask you kids, do you think that having a musical background has helped you in school? 
Oh, definitely. <laughs> Honestly, I think learning classical instruments is like the best way to learn like discipline and just be becoming like, I don't know, just getting things done kind of thing. Learning how to practice. It stretches and, your yeah, mind. Yeah, it totally way. stretches your mind in a different way that nothing else does. And it teaches you to like, don't give up until you really know something. Like you just keep practicing it and getting better and better. So yeah. Don't give up till you know something. That seems like a song. That's <laughs> a right now. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys do like at, besides music? Do you guys have like other hobbies? Oh yeah, oh, yes. surf. You really, you guys surf? All of us. All, of us. All, All of you surf? surf? Yes. What's your All favorite surf spot? The lane. Hooks. Yeah. Some the lane. Hooks. I heard the hook somewhere. Yeah. We live in like best place with the best waves. So. <laughs> Think about yeah. that. Think about like all around the world. You happen to be born here, it's and your amazing. backyard is this like beautiful oh. beach. Oh, so awesome! Yeah. I know. I Calif feel like when we go on vacation, it's like we're coming back to vacation. <laughs> when we come back home, like we're so really... spoiled. Oh, yeah. Because so yeah. there's not that many places that are as beautiful as here. Yeah. And you're close. And you, so you all surf. That is really cool. I got surf together, play Skate. music together. <laughs> got um. Okay. I think we should play. How many? We have like two more songs. Um, I, I mean, as many as you want. Many we as you want. Three okay. right here we can do. Yeah. Okay, so we got, we'll got. we do three, but let's play one right now. Okay. What, what's the next one? Um, We're going to do Don't Worry, Be Happy. Oh, cool. I mean, in honor yeah. of our grandpa. He's yes. the most optimistic yeah. person. <laughs> never heard him complain. In the world, yeah. <laughs> never heard him complain. Does he ever sing with you? Um, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. He's there, he's if there. he's there, he's singing or tapping, tapping along. along. <laughs> oh, that is so He's cool. probably he's listening. listening. So, he's and your other family members also, like, play with you, like, families, dinners and stuff. Yeah. You guys... That is so, so like, do you actually have a house of like, and there's like eight of you right now or so, mm -hmm. do you have a house of like 20 people sometime playing music? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Like so many. Yeah. At one point we had like, dad, was it like three different organs or two different organs like in our house? Uh, three pianos and two organs. Three pianos, two organs, organs at one time. Oh my goodness. We just collect them off like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That is so awesome. No, I, I think your parents are doing a pretty darn good job. Um, and you guys are enjoying yourself, so keep that going. And, um, Okay, so let's play uh, Bobby McFerrin. Yep, That's his name. you got don't, it. Don't worry, be happy. He's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing the no notes. So don't worry. Be happy. In every life, we have some trouble. But when you one that's actually gonna like leave the band and go solo? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Don't get surprised. any ideas, writer. Don't get yeah, any ideas, writer. <laughs> We're gonna start approaching you, so. So, um, I, I feel like, you know, I I can't remember where I um, learned about you. It was, you were on Neil Perlberg's show, but mm -hmm. I, before that I heard about you from somewhere else or saw you, um, oh wait a minute. Cool. I was at an event and this lady named Monica Kars, she said, 
oh my goodness, there's this these this band of cousins. You know, it was like just like a month ago. You need to like have them on your radio show. And um, she looked them up on Instagram. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Um, oh, I wonder where she heard you from. But I know her daughter. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so. I, I I saw you on Instagram. Do you uh, do you have you have an Instagram account? Do you have like a website? Like how do people like find out about your music? See us Whoa. downtown. See us downtown. <laughs> so we have to hang downtown. out downtown yep. all the time. Pacific Avenue. Okay. Yeah. Or they go to your Instagram. Uh, your Instagram. What's yeah. your Instagram account? Um, at Santa Cruz Cousin Band. Okay. Yeah. So, do you ever want to like take a trip to like? Audition for American Idol or <laughs> any of those things. Have you guys thought about or one of those shows? <laughs> I mean, maybe, fun, maybe yeah. individually we've like maybe thought about it. But I mean, it'd be fun to enter as a band sometime. Yeah, but yeah. Just, I think we'll that would see. be totally cool. That's like a story. Yeah. Yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> okay, so what is your like your favorite? reality music show if you're gonna mm. American Idol Songland is really oh, cool it's Songland oh, Songland, Songland. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. on NBC Group 5 guy. it's amazing yeah. songwriters all yeah. the pop songwriters yeah it's so yeah, cool because you gotta see the people who actually are behind making the music not just the faces of it it's really cool. inspiring so inspiring yeah it's I like so that one better than what's the um you know the one uh, the voice yeah oh I've yeah never, that's good too. I know I just never like I haven't got into that as much. I like the like the judges. Yeah. They're interesting. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I kind of like American Idol. You know, there's been we've had a, quite a few people in town. That um, one's been on American Idol. Oh, you guys, Je uh, Jeff Durbin. Uh, yeah, yeah, James Durbin. James Durbin. Not Durbin. Yeah. Durbin. Always good. Who's <laughs> also a lead singer of a heavy metal group called Quiet Riot, which is way before your time. Uh -huh. uh, and then we have Anthony Aria, which is he was on The Voice. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Yeah, and he, he goes to school a block away at you know Kirby. He was oh, um, oh. last season of The Voice. He was um, that's cool. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, look at, yeah Anthony Aria, yeah, um, yeah. super great guy. He's been on the show a few times. Um, he was on Team um, Adam Levine. Cool. So, cool. Yeah, he has all his little stories. And what's actually interesting is that he has a girlfriend now that he met on the same season, and she huh. lives in like some other oh, part cool. of the country. But yeah, they're a super nice couple. Um, okay, I want. The oldest brother. Because, can we get you yeah. to mic? Okay, so what do you usually play? What kind of music? Uh, what kind of uh, instruments do you usually play? Instruments? Um, well, on my own time, I actually produce like hip hop music. Electronic you really produce music. it? Yeah. Like what, when you mean produce, like you're actually like working with other bands to make music. I mean, what's what's that mean? Um, well, right now at the moment, I'm just doing it on my own, just putting out like okay. beats and stuff on SoundCloud. But I think that would definitely be the goal someday. To work with like a vocalist or something. You can make money off of just making beats on SoundCloud, can't you? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, because I heard I was watching a show. Um, wait, what's the Little Nas Cowboy song? Oh, oh Old Town Road. Old Town Road. Old Town Road. <laughs> yeah. So there were like three different people that were like didn't even know each other, and this one guy in New Zealand that just makes hip hop beats. That's all he does is make every day he yeah. makes hip hop beats and he sells them. Like, and then like Little Nas like found that beat, even though the beat was like a, a loop from like an alternative group. Um, but yeah, I think that's interesting. Everybody, there's always weird niches of how people support themselves in yeah. music. Mm -hmm. So that's super cool. Um, do you also listen to hip hop? That's like, if you're gonna like, if you go in your car right now, go and play music, would it be hip hop? Um, I listen to like definitely more alternative underground hip hop and a lot of like electronic music, like okay. dubstep and stuff too, yeah. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, so how are you gonna incorporate that into the into the band? <laughs> well, I already have actually a little bit. I have like a drum machine hardware um, okay. piece of equipment. <laughs> I couldn't bring it here. We do it on it that would, other yeah. one if I got you. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. it would be tough to set up in here. But yeah, it's, it basically, yeah. is just for programming beats like on the spot and like oh, wow. yeah. And I was using that um, with the Alicia Keys song. That sounded cool. pretty cool. Yeah. He's got pretty eclectic interests too. We've got a friend staying with us right now from the Congo. Okay. And he speaks like three or four languages. And just oh, the wow. other day, I heard these two collaborating, and so they're writing a sort of hip hop rap in French. He's in French. <laughs> wow. So he's Congolese yeah. singing in French, and Karen, Karen was producing that. So, so yeah. do you, do you record these moments? I mean, like, yeah, we like say you know with that with that you know the visitor. Do you like actually record these so you can like play them? Well, you know, I have equipment to record. I have a microphone. I have like some like isolation shield and stuff. Stuff equipment that I could. I haven't had much practice to uh, yet, so I mean, but I'm gonna could, work yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think it's really cool about what you all have is it's such a gift of music, and you know, there's life has different ups and downs, and 
no matter whatever happens to you, you can always go in a room and play a song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like, you know, and kind of, I know, cathodically going through something or just make yourself happy because like you have, I mean, most people can't play music. So I think that's, that's really impressive. I, there was a, an event that we had a couple months ago and the, there was all these musicians that were playing and I said, can I like play something? Cause I can't play anything at all. And they gave me the tambourine. Aww. And you know what? It's, that's not even that easy. I know. <laughs> it's hard. No, it's hard. Yeah. It's scary. It's, it's loud. loud. I was like, oh my goodness, how am I gonna? T <laughs> yeah. And so like then I found out. Okay, you just kind of dance, go to the beat. But and I only did it for thirty seconds. I don't want to mess up the song. Um, can we? Have, wait, was it? It starts with E. What was your? Eden. Eden, come over here, Eden. Okay. Could you describe? what you're sitting on and like it's close oh. to the microphone yeah okay yes i am sitting on a box drum okay otherwise known as cajon and yeah it's, it's kind of like has a bass and then kind of a snare oh that's so, so like uh, like the bass is like one side and the <laughs> snare is it, yeah the bass is like lower and then okay. the snare is kind of like on the top yeah so is that like your instrument that's like your go-to instrument mm. Not really, actually. Oh, so you're just doing it today? You're <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you usually um, play? Well, my main instrument is piano. Okay. Yeah, and then... It's hard I, to get a piano in here. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I thought about it. And then um, I also play the Irish whistle. What is it? Oh, that's like the... Like that the, one. So yeah. that's when I said the flute. That was totally... <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> well, it's okay. Yeah. Wait, is it in like the um, the flute family or the um, wings? I don't know. Well, it's played vertical and flutes are like sideways. They're the ones that like this. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's a little different. Cool. It's okay. A lot of people make Some those mistakes. I'm so. novice musicians. Yeah. No, okay, well, let's let's play another song. What, what song are we going to play next? Um, this song's called uh, November Moon. It's by this like French um, folk music group. Something yeah. super different. Yeah. Yep. From what we've been doing. Okay. All instrumental. All right? instrumental. Yeah. Oh wow, cool. Corinne's okay. gonna show off his accordion skills a little bit. Okay, so just let everybody know you're listening to KSQD Santa Cruz and this is the Santa Cruz cousin band. <laughs> November Moon. November Moon. Okay. Yeah. And who's like? What's the normal composer or person that would usually play that? Well, I think it's um like, like a clap, traditional like, like yeah. French folk okay. tune, whatever. But yeah. like this band just like, just like does their own versions of all that. Okay. Stuff. Yeah. That is cool. So it was instrumental. Uh, that makes me think. Do you ever play like fully a cappella? Oh, not not really. Not really but we should. Well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is this too much? What I'm thinking of doing, how about if I got any of you guys getting nervous here? You know, it's really hot in here. Do you guys all agree? Yes. Yeah, it's a little warm. My, I'm, my sweat off my brow here. But um, what about if I play two songs, give you a little break, you went outside, and see if you can come up with an acapella song. Sure. Yeah, oh, together. Nice. Let, let, let's do that. Okay, do you, you want to take that challenge? Yes. Sure. Oh, want, say live a song sure. in mine. Well, no, he's going to play two songs. I'm going to play two songs, yeah, uh -huh. give you a break. You can go yes. outside. Why don't you and guys go outside? We've got, you have like 
I don't know, eight minutes. Okay. Yeah, come up with a song a you want to see and you want to play a cappella and see if you can do that. And even if it doesn't go perfect, I think it'll be amazing. So, um, okay, you're listening to the uh, TSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. And we're going to play a little out of the blue here. So, let's play some McCoy Tyler. You're listening to the Event Santa Cruz radio show. I am your host, Matthew Swinnerton. Maybe I should say that once in a while because I always forget. Mm -hmm. So we had a challenge to, for the Santa Cruz Cousins Band to do an acapella song. They had no idea. I did not prep them for this. They went outside for a few minutes and they, they came back. So we're going to hear that right after our PSA time. What, the, what song, and we talked about it, I asked you, what song is it? And you said, do you want it to keep it a surprise? I said, yes. So let, let's open the surprise. What song are you going to do? How will we sing it and then... Everyone will oh, know. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let, let, okay, let's do that. Let's sing it. Well, you're, you're always trying to get the surprise. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> okay, go for it. Let's see if we can, this challenge, this acapella challenge. This one, guys. Okay. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, cousins, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, cousins, let's go down, down in the river to pray. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, cousins, let's go down, let's go down, won't you come on down? Oh, cousins, let's go down, down in the Nice, good job. <laughs> so you've never done that one before, right? No. That was so that is an exclusive KSQD Santa Cruz song from the Santa Cruz cousin band. I was gonna say cousins, cousin band. But so how did you come up with doing that one? What what was the rationale? Mm -hmm. I don't I cousins. just pop yeah, cousins. We got um, it was cousins. Place to family cousins. song. Yep, family song. Okay, so that got you didn't that song actually has the word cousin in it. You didn't. No, no. Well, we changed it. It's brother, sister. Oh, it was brother, sister. It's like everything. Okay, it was so like, you did. Yeah, everything. So we decided why not cousins. <laughs> that is so cool. I feel like the, the cousins word will like be in your vocabulary forever now. Yeah. Yeah. You guys need like stickers and start like promoting the band. That would be so yeah. good. I mean, I'd be down. Anyone want to sponsor us? <laughs> open. Okay, so but if you want to make stickers, well, bro prints or what other kind of printing companies, Kados, but if you want to sponsor the Santa Cruz Cousin Bands, then you know where to go. Their Instagram. What is the Instagram again? At Santa Cruz Cousin Band. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's see if we can do that. Even if you're not a printing company and you want to do that, you want to help support this, these We'd cousins. Be We'd be, be so stoked. stoked. Yeah. Go to the Instagram, dire um, direct message them, and maybe like comment in their page or, or on their, their feed. Uh, okay, so we have time for one more song. This is it. This is the big finale. What song are we going to play? We're going to do Clearly by Grace Vanderwall. Okay, awesome. And she was on what show? Was that was She on? won AGT. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Okay, yeah. There's a world outside my door, I don't know it anymore I'm gonna stay here now, I'm gonna stay here now Close the curtains, cut the lights, right to darkness in my mind It's gonna take me down, it's gonna take me down All the roads have been before, same mistakes always got me shaking
today only ruin tomorrow. Oh, oh, all the pain in my soul. Of course, writer always takes it at the end. Uh -huh. It's all the spotlight of writer. Well, I want to say thank you so much for being on the show. Um, this was one of my favorites. Aww. Love having thank you here. Thank you so thank much you. for having us. Oh, no, thank you. So, if of course, we go to your Instagram, and if you're walking downtown, oh, real fast, so you're out of school right now, right? Yeah. Are you guys homeschooled or normal school or normal school normal school yep. i just yeah. say normal school my kids are homeschooled i guess that's not uh, homeschool well, it's normal school. no shame say, yeah, yeah. Still homeschool. exactly yeah. so but this is like your time to like you guys probably play more shows right now for sure yeah. yeah whatever comes we up we practice yeah. a lot yeah in the summer okay cool okay thank you very much um it is almost four o'clock i want a picture of you guys after the show so you guys can hang out outside and sure. um we'll we'll take a, a group picture awesome. i need to get a wide angle lens <laughs> Everybody. Okay, you're listening to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7 FM. <laughs>